My name is William Meek from the Harmon Meek Gallery in Naples, Florida, and I'd like to talk to you today about Richard Siegelman's pastels. They're really special in my mind because they resemble uh, uh, what uh, Edgar Degas did with that same medium. The medium is often confused with chalk, and people often say, uh, well, won't it just fall off because it's just chalk? That's not true at all. It's, a, it's a, actually the purest form of painting you can come up with. And the Degas and Mary Cassatt pastels that were done 150 years ago are just as fresh and alive to today as they were when they were painted. Because it's actually pure pigment compressed into a stick. And you can have a pastel set that can have as many as a thousand different colors. Every single color represents a different shade out of nature, uh, ground up from a rock or whatever. And so the pastel medium is, uh, is a medium that Richard started to work with about 1982-83, and uh, he uh, immediately found that he had a natural ability to create beautiful works of art in pastel. Uh, it's in a very immediate uh, medium, uh, but if you look at the white dress here, you can actually see about a dozen or more colors. Each one of those separate colors is a separate stick that he pulled out. So he's not mixing paint on a palette like you do with oil paint or watercolor. He's actually selecting the color he wants. Even the black, uh, when you get close to this uh, black uh, uh, blouse, there's actually green throughout it and brown and other colors. And the red is not just all red, there's orange and brown in it as well. So really, it's an amazing way to paint. And, and often people that use pastels say they're painting in pastel, or a lot of people would say, well, no, it's just a drawing. And um, <clears throat> well, I, was, uh, I would think that uh, these pastels are going to eventually be some of the finest works that he ever created. And uh, we're uh, fortunate to be able to exhibit them here in this uh, memorial retrospective. And so uh, he loved doing women in black or white dresses and, and uh, often had, the same, had different models using the same dress, which gives a different attitude to the, to the uh, entire painting. And, uh, but there's a, almost a sketchiness to it, but it's very instant. Very, and not a lot of room for making mistakes either. Uh, you do it almost like watercolor. You, you do it and you live with it. So these are other examples of, he loved doing women with hats because his mother was a milliner. And uh, here's an, another model with the same black dress that we showed back here. So 